waters, as we talked about, banning new oil and natural gas leasing on federal lands and waters. It's estimated this long-term leasing ban is going to cost your home state of New Mexico 62,000 jobs, my home state of Wyoming 33,000 jobs. Uh, a long-term leasing ban is also going to cost, and I kind of run around the, the table here of members on this committee, Louisiana 48,000 jobs, Colorado 18,000 jobs, Mississippi 14,000 jobs, North Dakota 13,000 jobs, Utah 11,000 jobs, 7,000 jobs in Alaska and Montana. Uh, those are just jobs represented by people on this committee. Now, now you would said you will work your heart out for everyone, including fossil fuel workers. My question is for you, why not just let these workers keep their jobs? Senator, it's my understanding that uh, President Biden has put a, just a pause on new leases. He didn't ban new leases. He didn't put a moratorium on new leases. It's a pause to review the fossil program at the, uh, depart the federal fossil fuel program. And um, so I know that there are still thousands of leases and thousands of permits that are moving forward. And um, so, so then if, if confirmed, would you would you tell the president that it's not unwise to continue the pause as a permanent ban? I don't believe that it is a permanent ban, Senator. Um, I am more than happy to work with you and to work with, of course, at the pleasure of the president and along with, if I'm confirmed, my colleagues um, to make sure that we're doing everything we can to create jobs for Americans.